Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today as you read the title, I'm doing a clean makeup look, especially for acne prone skin, for acne scars, and I never really see any clean makeup girl, like clean it girl makeup looks with girls with acne, you know, like people with acne. So I decided to do my own and I'm just gonna be using a ton of makeup products that I usually just incorporate into my makeup routine, like my everyday makeup routine and just some new products that are being released as well. So I already did my hair. Um, I just did a little bun. Uh, you know, I have curly hair, so I just left a little bit of curls in the front. Um, and I just did a bun because, you know, it's a very minimalistic kind of hairstyle. So it's very easy and very quick to do. I added a bit of gold jewelry. So I have all my makeup laid out here. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. If you guys know already, I've been using this for a while. This is my go-to primer. Um, literally, I've already hit pan since like months ago. So I'm gonna go in with the Putty Primer with the Merit's number one brush. And this brush is fantastic. I have been using it ever since they sent it to me. Um, I even brought it to Chicago and it's just a perfect brush to do like everything so quickly. Blush, bronzer, primer, foundation, anything that you just don't have time to be carrying so many brushes with you. I like to apply primer where I'm very oily and I apply it around my nose and my eyes. And I used to be a person who never really believed in primer until now. I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I have been using this for years already as well. Um, I got this in LA like almost three years ago already. I'm gonna be using my Morphe X Ariel brush. Now for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Say Hydro Beam Concealer. It's a new concealer, um, so really like it. It's very brightening. Just going to blend it in with the Morphe X Ariel brush, the concealer one. At least I think it's for concealer, but yeah, we're just gonna use it to blend it out. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but the concealer is very brightening. So now I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty setting powder. So I'm going to set my under eye area first before um, my entire face. So I'm just going to pat in the makeup under my eyes. I do like to use a powder puff instead of a brush because I do feel like it gives me a smoother finish. I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush and just apply it on certain areas because I will be putting on some cream blush. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Chanel La Beige bronzer um, just because I do want a little bit of warmth in my face. I'm gonna use this Morphe like flat kind of dense brush from Ariel and I just like swirl it around. I've had this for almost two years already and I'm still like not hitting pan. I'm gonna go in with these awesome products that Merit sent me. So they're still in the box cause I did open them already. Like obviously I did, but um, I mean, I have no self control so I just open the boxes. But I just saved the boxes because I wanted to show you guys the packaging and everything, you know, like, look at this. It's very minimal, it's very cute. I love like the light blue jean color. The first thing I'm gonna open is the Flush Balm, which is in the shade Beverly Hills. So if you guys know already, I do have the shade Raspberry Beret from last year that they sent over to me as well. 
um, but this time I chose Beverly Hills because it's, it's a very peachy color. I just love the packaging. It's like so easy. It's very light, um, very easy to travel with. But I do like to use a brush, but I do think I'm going to use it with my fingers today. I do see people applying it like that, but I don't know if it's going to remove any of my makeup. Is it? I don't know if it's removing any of my makeup, but let's see. I do feel like it is removing my makeup. Okay, I think I'm going to apply it with my finger and... But it is blending out very nicely, and I do see the color already. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but this side has blush, and this side does not have any blush. Hold on, let me just move the hair. I'm just gonna apply the rest of it on my nose, just because summer's coming up, so I'm just gonna apply the rest on my nose. guys are looking for your new summer staple blush i would definitely recommend this blush balm i think it's very easy again to apply to travel with especially if you guys are going to go on vacation or anything um it's very lightweight and it's only like it's less than one ounce you guys it's 0.31 ounces so you guys won't have any issues with that traveling um i always pay attention to like the weight whenever I buy something. We have a variety of different shades. I'm gonna open the highlighting balm. I got it in the shade Citrine, which is their new shade that they are releasing for the summer. Um, it is a very gold kind of highlight. I was expecting it to be a little too gold, but when I opened it, I definitely saw like a very universal kind of shade compared to like the rose gold that everyone usually does. So it is, it is this beautiful like champagne gold kind of color. Merit never disappoints with their highlighting balms. And it's so easy to apply as well. I just like applying it everywhere. Will definitely be applying a bit more under my eyebrows after I do my eyebrows. I already look like an it girl. I'm gonna go in with this brow duo, which I bought a while ago, and I've been using it. This is the Glossier Boy Brow Gel and the Brow Flick. I'm missing some hairs on my eyebrows, so um, yeah, I just draw them in with this after I brush them up. I will say brow gel is a game changer. I love using it. Okay, so now that I'm done with my face makeup, I'm just gonna be using my last two products that I will be using in this video. And um, it's the, uh, it's the Mame Extract by Apple, the pink and green mascara, the super lash for my eyes, and I'm gonna curl them with my elf eyelash curler, which is literally on its last leg. And then for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Last High Shine Brilliance Lipstick in the shade Close Off, so it's a very nude lipstick, and I'm just gonna be applying a little bit because it's very hydrating and it's quite shiny, so I really like the finish of it. apply my mascara and now I'm just gonna apply this lipstick and I thought about wearing the Merit Au Naturel, at least that's what I think it's called, um, the lip oil, which I really love this lip oil. I've literally almost burned through it. Look how creamy this lipstick is. 
And then I'm just gonna top it off with this lip oil. It's gonna give me a bit more of a peachy color. And that is it for the Clean Girl Aesthetic Makeup Look. I definitely love working with some new products that I used today to incorporate into this Clean Girl Makeup Look. Kind of like stepped up the more natural looking makeup game, you know? This is definitely going to be my like summer staple makeup look. Easy, very quick, and it just accentuates like your features and all that, so... I definitely think that anyone can pull this off. If you guys do think about buying some Merit products, definitely click down at my affiliate link down below. You guys can get a discount for your first purchase and you also get a very cute makeup bag for your very first purchase. It is a corduroy, um, like a, an amber orangey color corduroy makeup bag and you tie it into a knot. And I just think it's the cutest thing ever. I have one of my own and I've been using it a lot. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like these. And I will see you guys in my next video.